that misty morning when the moon has gone to bed when the sparrows stop their singing and the sky is clear and red when the summer ceased its gleaming when the corn is put its prime, when adventure's lost its meaning, I'll be homeward bound in time. Point me not to the pasture, take me not to the plow. Set me free to find my calling, and I'll return to you somehow. If you find it's me you're missing, if you're hoping I'll return. Good morning and welcome to Trinity, um, the United Church in the heart of Newmarket. Um, would you like to do announcements first and then I'll take the last part. You go ahead. Good morning. I'm replacing Kelly this morning who would be here to say there are tickets for our 200th anniversary gala which is being held on March the 4th. They will be on sale at uh, Fill My Cup. May. And as well, uh, one of the things that she yeah. has noticed is that traditionally we get a number of donations from the congregation and those have not come in as they usually are. And there is a deadline for us uh, to have those come in because the company who is going to run the auction needs time to prepare all of the data that has to be done. So if you are planning on making a donation uh, of a something for the auction and haven't yet, there will be forms at that table as well. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy. Uh, good morning, all. Uh, for those who don't know me, I'm Peter Mohan, and uh, uh, I, I guess um, Alan would say now uh, he's relieved that I'm the new chair of the leadership team. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the for the confidence entrusted in me to take over such a position. Um, unfortunately, we weren't here last week for the, for the uh, uh, service. Uh, we were 
enjoying some family time out in Cuba for a week. Um, the, the other thing I, I like to introduce is uh, uh, Panache, uh, well, a portion of Panache. They're, they played the, um, the prelude to the end. I think they'll be doing one other performance. What, uh, what you may not know about Panache is, and I know that picture doesn't do them justice, but uh, uh, they were um, invited to perform at Canada's 150 anniversary in Ottawa. And um, so it's, uh, I guess it's a privilege to have them here, uh, at least a section of them here today to, to uh, perform. Thank you. I would also like to express my thanks for you being here today. You are adding to the celebration and I'm so grateful, so thank you. Amelia and I has may, have made an arrangement that we won't look at each other today. <laughs> because every time she sings, it goes to my soul and to my heart. I am so grateful for you and the gift that you offer here. So that's it. <laughs> I want to thank everybody for yesterday, and um, it was such an amazing celebration. I was blown away. My heart is overflowing with gratitude. So thank you, thank you, thank you. It was something else. It was great. And um, there was a few gifts, one being um, a, a Christmas tree ornament of uh, Trinity, and then uh, some time away with Rick and I at a spa. So I give thanks f uh, on behalf of Rick and myself for that too. Um, I also want to, you know, I do like to wear different stoles, <laughs> so I want to tell you what I'm wearing today. <laughs> So this gown was given to me by my parents for my ordination. So I have tucked it away for a little while and I've brought it out for today. I'm wearing my Celtic cross that Rick gave me for my ordination. And then my friend Tracy, who um, words were spoken by Ryan yesterday, um, had this made for me. So, and then the last piece, I'm um, taking the liberty to wear red, which um, symbolizes the Holy Spirit. And this was made by Leslie Sador. So there's a lot going into this outfit today. And um, I feel wrapped in prayer as I offer today's worship. <laughs> well, happy St. Patrick's Day. You might recognize some of the tunes that we'll be singing. Someone asked me, um, are these my top uh, hymns? Yes. <laughs> I got to choose them to date. Yes, they're all my favorite. And um, so St. Patrick legend has taught that St. Patrick brought Christianity to Ireland in the 5th century. And has, um, legend has also said that he drove the snakes out of Ireland. And he used the shamrock to talk about the Trinity, the three leaves in the shamrock and one stalk, the image of three in one God, and it's the three on one God that we are praising here today. The name of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit, Creator, Christ, and Spirit, we all come here today. And now we take an intentional moment to acknowledge the sacred land in which we gather. Today we express our gratitude for the many natural gifts of our Creator, as well as a profound respect for the indigenous people who are the original inhabitants and stewards of this land. Trinity United Church rests on the traditional territories of the Wendat, the Haudenosaunee, and the Nishiabis people, and the treaty land of the Williams Treaty First Nations. The Chippewas of Georgina Island are our closest neighbors. We would like to thank them and other Indigenous peoples for sharing this land with us, and we seek to live with respect, peace, and right relationships as we work and worship on this land. Let us now begin by greeting one another with the peace of Christ. The peace of Christ be with you.
invite you to sing with us as the deer pants for the water. Please be seated. People of God, look around and see the faces of those we know and love, neighbors and friends, sisters and brothers, a community of kindred spirits. People of God, look around and see the faces of those we hardly know, newcomers and visitors, forgotten friends, the ones who need our outstretched hand and words of welcome and acceptance. People of God, look around and see all the images of God assembled here in you, in me, in each of us. God's spirit shines for all of us to see. People of God, come, let us worship. This morning as our opening prayer, I'm offering words of St. Patrick. So let us pray. I arise today through the strength of heaven, light of the sun, splendor of fire, speed of lightning, swiftness of the wind, depths of sea, stability of the earth, firmness of the rock. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me. God's eyes to look before me and God's ears to hear me. God's words to speak for me. God's hand to guard me. God's way to lie before me and God's shield to protect me. God's hosts to save me afar and anear, alone or in a multitude. Christ, shield me today against wounding, Christ within me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right and Christ on my left, Christ when I lie down and Christ when I sit down, Christ in the heart of everyone who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me, and Christ in the eyes 
that see me, Christ in the ears that hear me. I rise today through the mighty strength of our God, our Creator. God, hear our prayer as we follow the example and pray the prayer that Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Holy Trinity, holy love that forgives us, that we may forgive one another. God heals us so that we may be a healing people. God renews us that we may be a people of peace. Thanks be to God. Amen. Hopefully this is on. At this time, I would like to welcome any of the children to the front. So you can make your way up. So just give us a second while everybody stops their coloring and <laughs> comes to join us. <laughs> And we're going to do a favorite, and we've done this a couple of times, but it is so cute when they do it. And for <laughs> Reverend Linda's last service, I just thought that this would be such a nice thing to do because they all know it. So we're going to do Peace Like a River, and Kevin is going to accompany us on the piano. And at this time, I'd like to welcome any bigger kids that might be hiding out at the back, no names mentioned, <laughs> to also join us. And we have a special activity that we're going to be doing. Enjoy your worship.
I give thanks to the choir and praise team. You come out weekly to practice, and I, there's been so many changes over the years, and you are amazing, and thank you for all your commitment, for your love. I know I'm going to make a guess that Miriam is the oldest. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Miriam turns 93 this summer, so uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> well, we, we hold you for your um, courage and commitment and determination, so thank you. Thank you all so much. It was lovely. Lovely. And Kevin, I want to thank you that you have been a gift to Trinity. Your faith is a gift. Your gift of music and just who you are. I know Trinity's in really good hands. And I get to see Renata as she's leading the choir and the passion <laughs> that she shares and the joy. So thank you so, so much for your gifts of sharing your love of music with all ages and for um, just who you are. So God bless you and thank you. Now I did do nice big printing, so we should be okay. <laughs> May the words of my mouth and the meditations of all of our hearts be acceptable to God, who is our rock and our strength and our redeemer. Amen. I am starting with the reading, Mark 12, 28 to 31, and it's the greatest commandment. One of the teachers of the law came and heard Jesus debating with other religious leaders, noticing that Jesus had given them a good answer he asked Jesus, of all the commandments, which is the most important? The most important one, answered Jesus, is hear this, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and all your strength. And the second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no greater commandment than these. The Gospel of Christ. Thanks be to God. Amen. Now this morning I did move away from the lectionary and I chose this reading from Mark to keep my message simple and to the point. For many of us, this commandment is one that we know well and keep close to our heart. Notice that Jesus doesn't say the commandments as a list of do's and don'ts. This commandment is about relationships. It's about loving, loving God, loving neighbors, the way that you love yourself. Jesus lifts up our relationship with God and with one another. Actually, by connecting them, I think that Jesus can do it being tied that we, I've showed the cross before, that we have a relationship with God and a relationship with one another. And so we need both. When we get so tied in helping others and forget about our relationship with God, we get out of balance. We get weary and tired. And when we just have our relationship with God, it's one way. And our commandment is to love each other so it's about getting out and doing things and caring for each other so that not only the symbol of the gift of Christ on the cross the greatest gift ever but it is the gift of how we live our lives loving God loving one another and loving ourselves dear friends this commandment is one that is close to your heart Friends at Trinity, you live out this commandment in this faith community, and you express your love of God in this weekly worship. The choir and praise team expresses their love as they share the gift of music, which helps us to express our love. And Kevin and Amelia have led us through prayer. You, The music that you do is prayer and we enables us to join in so thank you 
Dear friends, you have explored your faith and deepening re your relationship with God through study. Many of us remember the faith studies after church sessions with George Bishop and Wednesday mornings with Greg Clapp, Lenten studies with Reverend Ross and Gail and Ian. And it's in the exchange of our questions, of our deep questioning and exploration and dialogue that we get to grow together. I will always remember a memory of walking on a labyrinth one snowy day up north with the study group in March, and it will, we couldn't see the shape of the labyrinth under the snow, but we kept exploring and discovering and walking that labyrinth in prayer. It was something. But through study and exploring our questions, we deepen our relationship with God and one another. And loving your neighbor is what this community does well. You've been serving Newmarket for 200 years, and you serve in a variety of ways. The leadership team and committee work is one way that we serve God. The trustees, lamp, lunch at my place, Friday night in from the cold dinners, knitting hats and scarves for those who need extra warmth in the winter, children's clothing for Massey Center, the AOTS and the UCW meeting together, supporting one another with love and also serving the neighbor. The prayer shawl ministry is one that expresses the love as it leaves this building. And let us remember that we have fun too. <laughs> Having fun together nourishes us body and spirit and fun at the galas, the uh, murder mystery, the taste of Trinity, the cookbook celebration, Faith Family Fridays, Disco Nights, amazing times. And we are so grateful for the children in our midst who bring joy to this place every Sunday, every day. What a gift it is to hear young voices playing um, as we worship together or as they go down um, with who's leading that service. So friends, I'd like to offer you these words of Kate Bowler. Um, she's a theologian, um, Canadian, and a writer. And so, hear these words. Life is made up of many beginnings and so many endings. We start a new job and leave old ones. We move into new cities and leave our childhood hobbies in our parents' basements. I'll look at my family. <laughs> We come, we become new people slowly, hopefully funnier and kinder. Friends and relationships come and go, dreams blossom, and then they wither. And we find ourselves once again at the precipice of change, afraid to let go, and afraid of what might happen if we don't. Might this be a place of blessing too? Might this? Be a moment of blessing. Blessed are we as we stand in the hallway, between closed doors and one still to come, between the old and the new, between the worn in and the one that doesn't quite yet fit, between whom we were and who we might become. God, make it remotely possible to grow and change, become open to new adventures, untethered to routine or to the same old. Because the anxiety rising in my shoulders and filling my throat tells me I am unlikely and unwillingly to step forward. Blessed are we who take a minute to look over our shoulder at all we have learned from what was the people we became, the people who loved us into becoming, the peace that came with familiarity. Blessed are we who trust in this timing and who open our hearts anew to change, to new friends and to hope. Nervous, maybe heavy-hearted, but brimming with gratitude 
for a life that is so beautiful. It hurts to say goodbye. Blessed are we, turning our eyes ahead towards a new path, not yet mapped. God give us the courage to be able to take the next step, enough courage for the next step too. Remind us that you have gone before us and behind us and around us and are with us right now. In our leaving and in our arriving, in our changes expected or shocking, surprise us with who we might become. I think this speaks well to us as a community and to each of us and to me as an individual too. And um, so as I look back over my shoulder, I only have gratitude and joy for the time we have had together sharing in ministry in the mission of Christ Jesus here at Trinity. I have learned so much from you about faith, about prayer and love and community. I am a different minister today than when I arrived. Thank you for your faith and patience, love and support. You have loved me into the minister I have become. So thank you. I pray that you trust that this is the right timing, that the right person will come to minister with and for you. I pray that you open your hearts anew to change, to new friends, and to hope. I pray that in the in-between time that you experience peace. I know that you will continue to love God, your neighbor, in your words and in your actions. I encourage you to remember, always remember, that God loved you first. God, excuse me, I'm trying to get back to you. God loved you first. God loves you for who you are. You cannot do anything to earn or lose that love. God's love is with you always. It is freely given to you. You are God's beloved. Just breathe that in. You are God's beloved. Now feel it deep in your heart and go out and live it boldly each day. Amen. Mm -hmm. if you're able and sing spirit open my heart
Our church, like any community, changes. Babies are born, children grow up. Loved ones and friends grow old. People move into our community and church and others leave us moving on to new places, new experiences, and new opportunities. Let us not forget that the ministry in this place is Christ's ministry, entrusted to us as part of his body. Our ministry belongs to Jesus and is ongoing. When a minister comes into our church, we covenant with one another. We promise to walk together as God's people, deepening our commitment to Jesus Christ and growing closer to God. God's covenant with us never changes, but our covenant with one another do change. We gather now to mark the ending of the covenant between Linda Wheeler and Trinity United Church in Shining Waters Regional Council. from the storm it exists to give you comfort it is there to keep you warm and in those times of trouble when you are most alone the memory of love will bring you home perhaps love is like a window Perhaps an open door, it invites you to come closer, it wants to show you more, and even if you lose yourself and don't know what to do, the memory of love will see you through. Oh, love to some is like a cloud, to some as strong as steel. Ten years ago, you That's called me. Sorry, Linda. Go That's ahead. Me. But That's I want you. to say thank you to Ursula first. And we've had many um, New Year's mornings here and over the Christmas season um, with tea biscuits and hot cider. And I just give thanks for your gift, for your friendship, 
and also Walter will always remain in my heart, his gift of music and leadership too. So blessings and thank you. Okay. Friends, 10 years ago, you called me to be in your midst, to serve with you in ministry of the word, sacrament, and pastoral care. I'm taking this Bible. That's okay. This Bible has served this congregation for decades, so I leave it here. The Bible is a symbol of the ministry of the Word among us. May God's Word continue to challenge, nurture, and inspire you. Thanks be to God. The font is a symbol of our baptism, the place of birth into the body of Christ. May you continue to welcome new members through the living water of our faith. The table is a symbol of our communion in Christ, the source of nourishment and strength. May you continue to share in the bread and cup, remembering the one who is the bread of life and our true vine. Thanks be to God. The towel and basin are a symbol of our calling to justice and service, according to the example of Jesus, who washed the feet of his friends. May you continue to walk in the way of the cross of Christ. and the church directory. May you continue to love one another as God loves you. These are the keys. I know many of you found them around the church at different times. (laughs) I'm kind of known of losing keys. These are keys. They are symbols of our daily duties and the work of administration and of this building, a witness to Christ's presence in this community. May your light continue to shine in this place. On May 1st, 2014, Trinity United Church called Linda Wheeler to serve as Minister of Word, Sacrament, and Pastoral Care. If you are able, would you please stand? Will you, the members and friends of this congregation, release Linda Wheeler from the duties of the Ministry of Word, Sacrament, and Pastoral Care? Will you respect the new relationship that now begins and offer your encouragement and prayers for her in retirement? 
Linda, you're already standing. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Will you, Linda Wheeler, release Trinity from their dependence upon you as a minister of word, sacrament, and pastoral care? I will with God's help. Will you respect the new relationship that now begins and offer your encouragement and prayers for their continued ministry here? I will with God's help. I thank you, friends and members of Trinity United Church, for the love and the support that you have shown me. You have shown me this while I've ministered here among you and with you. Let us not forget that the ministry in this place is Christ's ministry. It's entrusted to us as part of his body. And it is ongoing. I am grateful for the ways my leadership has been accepted. I ask for forgiveness for the mistakes that I have made. As I leave, I will carry with me all that I have learned here. We receive your thankfulness, offer our forgiveness, and accept that you are now leaving us to retire. We are grateful for your time among us. We ask your forgiveness for our mistakes. Your influence in our faith and faithfulness will not leave us with your departure. We release you from your duties of ministry here in our midst, no longer turning to you as we had when you were in ministry among us. I accept your thanksgiving and your forgiveness of me. I forgive you, and may our time together and our parting now be pleasing and acceptable to God. Further, I now release you from trusting, from turning to me and depending on me. I encourage you in your continued ministry here, and I will pray for you and for the new ministry personnel. Please be seated. Fount of every blessing, tune my heart to sing your praise. Streams of mercy never ceasing, call for songs of loudest praise. Teach me some melodious sonnet sung by flaming tongues above. Praise the mountain fixed upon it, mount of thy redeemed. my Ebenezer, hither by thy help I come, and I hope by thy good pleasure safely to arrive at home. Jesus, so to rescue me from danger, interpose. 
hold up in the twinkling of an eye and then continue onward with that same speed to fly do you think that you could ever through all eternity find out the generation where gods began to be or see the last beginning where space did not extend or view the last creation where gods and matter end methinks the spirit whispers no man has found pure space nor seen the outside curtain where nothing has a place if you could hide to collab in the twinkling of an eye and then continue onward with that same speed to fly streams of mercy never ceasing call for songs of loudest praise teach me some melodious sonnet sung by flaming tongues above praise the mountain time fixed upon it mount of thy redeeming love oh to grace how great a debt or daily i'm constrained to be let thy goodness like a fetter prone my wandering heart to thee prone to wander i can feel it prone to leave the god i love here's my heart oh take and seal it seal it for thy courts above Here's my heart, oh, take and seal it, seal it for thy courts above. A prayer, amen on amen. You have shared your gifts so freely, and it touches deep within. Thank you. Thank you. At Trinity, we fall call, ooh, sorry. <laughs> At Trinity, we feel called to be the church in this place, to build community, to reach out to your world and share the teachings and love of Christ Jesus. We are able to be the church in this place because of your generous givings. Thank you for what you give. Thank you for being Christ's church in this place. Our offering will now be received.
Please stand as we bring forth the offering. God of grace, you have called us to be your church, to serve your people, to follow Jesus' example in this place and in the world. Use these gifts that we bring to strengthen community, to build lives, and to inspire love, and to bring change that heals. Bless these gifts, we pray. Amen. Please be seated. <clears throat> Let us pray. Creator God, Holy One, great spirit of mystery and love, God of covenant, we give thanks to you, give thanks for the, our times remembered when we together have shared the life of faith. We thank you for the moments we have shared with Reverend Linda in worship, in learning, in play, in laughter, in tears, in prayer, and in service. We pray that Linda will be aware of your guidance as she moves into retirement. We pray that your spirit continue to influence our faith community as we continue to be the hands, feet, and heart of Christ in Newmarket. Be with us in our time of celebration. Bless the insights we have received by your grace during this mutual covenant now ending. We pray for wisdom, healing, and abundant new life. We, may we move forward confidently with renewed energy and vision. We pray for wisdom for the search team. We pray for your continued support and guidance for our leadership team. At this time, we remember Kate in our prayers. May Trinity become all that you call us to be, a place of welcome and compassion sharing your love through our words and actions. In Christ we pray, amen. Go ahead. And I invite you again to stand if you're able and join us in singing Be Thou My Vision, Voices United 642. Oh! 
dear friends, I commit to praying for you. I pray that you will continue to be the loving community that you are, but that the leader that you were looking for will be the one that comes. May God bless you and keep you always. And I would like you to offer the final blessing. May the one who walks on wounded feet walk with you on the road. May the one who serves with wounded hands stretch out your hands to serve. May the one who loves with a wounded heart open your heart to love. And may you see the face of Christ in everyone you meet. And may they see his face in you. God bless my friends. Amen. Thank you.